Good morning, everyone. Today we are talking about the Temple of Asri Lagos, a center for the five persons with healing powers in Greco Roman Egypt. Asri Lagos, or the Castle of the Old Man in Arabic, is a small temple on the western bank of Thebes, south of Medina Tebo, in a place called Jem. The temple was built probably by the reign of Ptolemy VIII Eurigated II. Asri Lagos was firstly described by Jolwa and Delivry, who visited Egypt in 1799. After that, it was described by Champillon and Lapsius till it was published by Denkmela. This is the main entrance to the temple of Asri Lagos, and this is the design of the temple. The temple consists of three successive rooms with the original roof. And this is the original roof of the temple bearing traces of colors. The sanctuary as well as the room, offering room bearing unfinished colored decoration. The principal god of this temple is God Tahat. Two forms of God Tahat were venerated in this temple, which is Tahat Thotmo or Setem and Tahat Teus. And this is a scene for the Ptolemy king offering an arus to God to Hot in the temple of Asri Lagos. It was believed that this temple was a cult center for three healing sages, namely Imhotep, Amenhotep son of Habu, and Teus. During his lifetime, Imhotep was the lecture priest, the great architect of the step pyramid at Sa'ara, and the perfect magician and physician. It was believed that Berlin, music, Berlin papyrus and much of the Ebers and Edwin Smith papyri were derived from copies of an original work of Imhotep. The great physician was firstly venerated as a kind of hero or a demigod till his complete deification during the Persian period. On the east wall of the second room of the temple, Imhotep is represented as a complete deity, seated on the throne and wearing the short kilt. He is sitting side by side between Tahot and Amenhotep son of Habo. The accompanying text described Imhotep as a complete deity and he says, who hear the prayers of those who suffer, who cares about all of his patients. Amenhotep son of Habu was the chef priest of Horus Khinti Erti in Atribes. Later on, he became the royal scribe of Amenhotep III. Amenhotep son of Habu played the role of the mediator between the crowd of the simple people as well as the royal family and got Amen after his death. Like Imhotep, venerating Amenhotep son of Habu as a complete healing god began by 26th dynasty. By the Ptolemaic period, many Greek ostracia and graffiti indicate the prom prominent healing abilities of God Amenhotep son of Habu. On the eastern entrance wall of this temple, an interesting hymn is said by Ptolemy VIII to Amenhotep son of Habu who says, I drive away any diseases from your body. As for Gateus, he was a defied priest of Memphis and became one of the divine characters in ancient Egypt. This opinion was confirmed by Zeta, Brooks, and Mali. Theus bore many titles in Astralagus reflecting his divine nature. He was described as the main great god of truth. Despi despite of being three defied characters, there is a notable difference between Theus and both Imhotep and Amenhotep son of Habu, the two great healing sages in ancient Egypt. Theus was not only associ associated with Thoth, but his character was rather completely molten with him. Theus lost by this way his independent personality that was not venerated separately from Tahat. On the contrary, both Imhotep and Amenhotep son of Habu had their independent identities, which were textually and pictorially confirmed. It was believed that the temple of Asri Lagos was once used as an oracular building. Teus, which was also mentioned as Jethet Paheb, Tephibus, was assimilated with Tahat, the face of the ibis, he said. This form of Tahat was known as an oracular deity in the temple of Asri Lagos. 
Stila bearing the shapes of ears were discovered in the site. They apparently were bound to the hot satin, the one who was able to listen to the prayers of his worshippers. Furthermore, the reputation of both Imhotep and Amenhotep son of Havu as healing oracular deities were indisputable. People seeking for curation for, from their diseases went to the chapels of the both sages for consulting their oracles and for incubation.